the investments we make as a country, as a people, as a government in early childhood education uh, will reap dividends for us at every other stage of the education system. So I'm very proud uh, to be a part of, of this effort today. Um, a lot of people have been involved in this project for many, many, many years. Um, and we're glad to see that those seeds that were planted are, are, are reaping fruit. I prefer to do what I have to do with all my mind, all my heart, all my soul. So allow people, allow my people to find their place in society. That is a part of my philosophy. No matter what your competences are, it is my duty as an educator to help you to find your place in society. Since the inception of the project, we, we have been supportive of it. And we think it's important that our children get proper education. And to get proper education, we need proper infrastructure. I'd like to thank right. the, the villagers yeah, of Kamalote yeah, yeah. for coming together and proposing an, an excellent person to be put as the name on the building. But I'd also like to thank the Minister of Education and the Ministry of Education for acknowledging the fact that it's important that we, we highlight and we support the people that come from the, the villages themselves. One of the main things about teaching, and I always, always encourage the younger teachers, the first thing besides dedication, there must be love. Love the children you teach, and they, in return, will reciprocate that love. I believe these two um, inaugurations that we have done today um, is very important, especially for the residents of this area. Um, it is closer for them, and the children can have um, a quicker access to the location rather than be before where they had to walk quite a distance. So this is a very um, key location, and I believe the children especially will appreciate the location of the um, building. When I came to politics maybe 18 years ago, Copen was just a sleeping community. No electricity, no water, no main road paved. And today is a living example of the constant development. This means a lot to the community. Uh, it's a community that uh, has not had these uh, investments made and, and now this is a big plus for them, for all the people in this area to be able to send their children uh, to a preschool.